In Activity 2, What Does a Magnet Attract?, students investigate the force of magnetism. They discover which common materials are attracted to magnets, which materials can block the passage of the magnetic force, and which cannot. Students then determine that the force of a magnet acting on a magnetic object is inversely related to the magnet's distance from that object. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 1, Magnetic and Non-Magnetic Objects, and Small Magnets. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student. Each group of four students will need one bag of magnetic and non-magnetic objects and two small bar magnets. To begin the activity, explain to the students that they will test a variety of objects to determine which are attracted to a magnet and which are not. Divide the class into teams of four and distribute the activity sheets and the materials. Tell the students not to blow up the balloons in the bags. They are to be used in the activity uninflated. Also, make sure to tell students to handle the nails in the bags with care because the points are sharp. Have students examine the objects and guess which ones they think will be attracted to the magnet and which will not. Record their predictions on the activity sheet. Then, instruct teams to test each of the objects and put a check mark in the appropriate column on Activity Sheet 1. As the students are working, walk from team to team to make sure they share investigative tasks. Each student should have an opportunity to work with a magnet. After the students are finished testing the objects, explain that, in this instance, the word magnetic is used to describe something that is attracted to a magnet. Ask students, what do you think non-magnetic means? Explain that non-magnetic describes something that is not attracted to a magnet. Then have each team name one or two objects and share if it is magnetic or non-magnetic. Do this until all 14 objects are identified. Students will find that the paper clip, metal washer, can lid, and steel nail are magnetic, and the other 10 objects are non-magnetic. Ask students, what properties do the magnetic objects have in common? Students should observe that they are all made of metal. Then ask students, are all of the metal objects attracted to the magnet? Students should notice that the light gray nail, the copper strip, and the paper fastener are not attracted to the magnet. Point out that these metal objects are made of aluminum, copper, and brass, respectively. Explain to the class that the metal items made of iron and iron-based metals are attracted to the magnet, and items made of other materials are not attracted to the magnet. Finally, encourage each team to think of classroom objects not already tested that they think would be magnetic. If possible, Give them time to test these objects. To conclude the activity, return the assorted items to their bags and return the bags and the magnets to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.